Gecko's Garage. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day, and I've been making some improvements to our truck wash. The mechanicals are very proud of their new garden, but it looks like the plants need some water. It's not rained for a few days. Oh, look! Here comes Sammy the school bus. Oh, my, Sammy! You're covered in mud. Not to worry, we'll get you cleaned up at once. Mechanicals, ready the truck wash. Red. Yellow. Blue. And green. It's time to make this vehicle clean. Calm down, Green. It's just the truck wash. Are you feeling okay, Sammy? What's all that noise? Oh no! Sammy, your sunroof was open in the truck wash. You're full up with water and green mechanicals fallen in. Don't panic, Green. We'll have you out of there in no time. Sammy, open your doors to let the water out. All that water has shorted out Sammy's electrics. Electricity and water don't mix. Without his electrics, Sammy's doors won't open. What can we do to rescue Green? Of course, the sunroof. Quick mechanicals, I need some rubber hose, a barrel, a funnel and an old tyre pump please. Go, go, go! Okay, it's finished. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll soon have you dried out. Are you ready, Mechanicals? Hello. 
All right then, red and blue. Pump. There you go, Sammy. All better now. You'll soon dry out in the sun. Though next time you go for a truck wash, I'd suggest you keep your sunroof closed. Look! The mechanicals are using the spare water on their garden. What a great idea! It'd be a shame to waste it. Thanks everyone for watching. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone! Tilly and I have been doing some repairs here at the school. And now it's time to head back to the garage. The mini mechanicals have finished school for the day too. They're waiting for Sammy the school bus to take them home. Here's Sammy now. Hello, Sammy. Ooh, that door sounds squeaky. All aboard, Mini Max. One, two, three, four, five. There, you're ready to go. Oh dear, that doesn't sound right. Poor Sammy can't open his doors. They're stuck and the mini mechs can't get out. We need to check your electrics, Sammy. Don't try and move. You might make things worse. It's a good job I was passing by with Tilly. We'll tow you to the garage. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Sammy turn. Sammy's doors won't open. The mini mechs are trapped inside. But what's wrong with Sammy? Are all his electrics fried? No, it's just his door at fault. Those hinges are all rusty. Let's get the mechs to take them off and fit ones that are more trusty. Go, go, mechanicals! Now the old doors have come off, the mini mechs can get out. But now all they want to do is play and run about. Careful now, don't touch that. Watch out for that hole. Red and green mechanical, get these kids under control. Green and red are struggling to keep those mini mechs from being silly. I think that they could use a hand from our friend Tow Truck Tilly. A cargo bed can hold them safe to stop any more fuss. So we can think of what to do to help Sammy the school bus. We need to replace those old rusty doors with smooth new ones. But while we have Sammy here at the garage, I think we should install a surprise for the mini mechs to make getting off the bus more fun. There, the doors are all fixed. And the mechanicals have added an extra something special. One, two, three, four, five. Let's drive these mini mechs home so they can try out the surprise. I'll follow you in Tilly to make sure everything's working okay.
Hey, that's right. It's a surprise slide. One, two, three, four, five. What a cool way to get off the bus. Thanks, Sammy. And thank you, Little Mechanical, for the hug. That's really very kind of you. I'm glad you like the slide. And thanks to you for joining us today. I hope you had as much fun as the Mini Mechanicals did. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello, everyone! Bobby the Purple Bus and Sammy the Yellow School Bus are here at the garage today for a respray. They work so hard that their paintwork is looking all scratched and scuffed. The mechanicals will soon have them looking as good as new. Yellow Mechanical is setting the respray up to use yellow paint, while Blue Mechanical gets Sammy ready to go through the machine. The yellow paint is spraying onto Sammy and, oh no! Blue Mech has sent the wrong bus through. Now Bobby's all yellow. Don't panic, Mechanicals. To get Bobby back to normal, we need to mix some red and blue paint to make purple. Now purple paint is flowing, Bobby will soon be right as rain. But wait, that looks like Sammy. They've sent the wrong bus through again. Oh dear, oh dear. This isn't right at all. The two buses are painted in each other's colours. Mechanicals, you need to fix this quickly. No, 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 Mechanicals. That isn't what I said. Bobby should be purple, but you've set the paint to red. I don't think you Mechanicals know what you have to do. Sammy should be yellow. So why did you choose blue? Bobby should be purple. Sammy should be yellow. Let's give this one more try. Oh, Mechanicals! Pulling levers at random isn't the way to fix this. You need to think it through. Oh dear, those silly Mechanicals. They just couldn't work together. And now they've broken the resprayer. That wasn't very clever. Our bus friend's colours still aren't right. They look amazing though. Painted all the colours of a dazzling rainbow. I think Bobby and Sammy would like to stay like this a while. They're off parading around the town to show off their new style. What a silly day we've had with the respray machine. Now those crazy mechanicals are painted in rainbow colours too. I'm sure everyone will be back to their normal colours soon. But until then, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open
open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The engine on the bus goes brum, 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 brum. The engine on the bus goes brum, 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 all through the town. The slide on the bus, it folds on down, folds on down, folds on down. The slide on the bus, it folds on down, all through the town. The kids on the bus jump down the slide, down the slide, down the slide. The kids on the bus jump down the slide, all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Hello everyone, I'm Gecko, and this is my garage. Here at Gecko's Garage, we fix any vehicle in trouble. I wonder who will be helping today? Oh look, here comes Bobby the bus over the hill. Bobby spends his days travelling around town, picking people up and dropping people off. He's a very helpful little bus. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello Bobby, what's wrong? Are your tyres flat? Are your windows broken? Have your lights stopped working? What do you think is wrong with Bobby? It sounds like your fuel tank is nearly empty. Shall we give you a top up? Fill, fill, fill. Let's fill up your tank. For all of this fuel, I'm sure you'll thank. Let's fix that light that was so dim. Full, full, full. Full to the brim. There. All filled up and ready to go. Bye bye, Bobby. See you again soon. I'm glad we could help Bobby, and now Bobby can help his passengers to get where they need to go. We see lots of different vehicles here at Gecko's Garage. All sorts of different types, sizes, shapes and colours. Come back and visit us soon to learn all about them. Bye! everyone, Bobby the bus is visiting the garage today. He needs a wash. Again! He gets very mucky. Bobby needs cleaning in the morning. Bobby needs cleaning in the afternoon. Bobby even needs cleaning at night time. Every morning, Bobby has to refuel with dirty diesel to power his engine. <coughs> Ew! Bobby's fuel smells terrible. It's so dirty. <coughs> Here comes Evie, the electric car. She doesn't have any problems with dirty diesel. She's lovely. Bobby wishes he could be as quiet and clean as Evie. Evie charges up her batteries using clean energy from the sun. Hmm, I wonder. Hey Bobby, how would you like to get rid of your dirty old diesel engine and run on clean electricity instead? It's a big job, 
but I think the Mechanicals are up for it. Let's get you into the garage and get started. Drive onto the platform and let's see what we can see. What do we need to do to make you run electrically? Go, go Mechanicals! The mechs take Bobby's engine out. Fit motors to his wheels. Install a brand new charging port. There! Let's see how that feels. Oh no! Bobby's wheels won't go. Now what have we done wrong? Of course! He needs some batteries to power him along. Energy from the sun goes into the solar panels on the garage roof. That energy travels through our charger into the batteries on an electric vehicle like Evie. Evie stores the energy in her batteries and that powers the motors in her wheels. It takes a lot of energy to power a bus, so Bobby's new batteries are very big and very heavy. Where should the mechanicals put the batteries, I wonder? How about at the back, where we took the old engine out? There's lots of room there. Oh dear, that's no good. The batteries are too heavy to all go at the back of the bus. Bobby's done a wheelie. How about we spread them out? Inside Bobby. The mechanicals might need to clear a bit of space first though. Um, mechanicals. I know you needed to make space for the batteries, but I didn't mean take all the seats out. Where are the passengers going to sit now? On the roof? Hold on a minute. On. The. Roof. Of course. Put those seats back in. I've had an idea. The best place for the batteries is up on the roof. Bobby stays balanced. There's still room for all his passengers inside. And the air going over the roof helps to keep the batteries cool and working properly. Let's install a cover over the batteries to protect them from bad weather. Perfect! Now Bobby's ready to roll. Let's get those batteries fully charged. One percent, two percent, three percent. Hmm, this charger is far too slow. Bobby has a giant battery pack, far bigger than Evie's. We need to make this electric charger into a supercharger. Let's try again. Huh, they don't seem to have made this charger any faster at all. What's going on? Uh-oh, it looks like the mechanicals have supercharged the wrong charger. Blue Mechanicals Charger is going crazy! Look at those numbers go! Eek! It looks like Blue Mechanicals got lots of extra energy to use up. Look at him go! Now that Blue Mechanical has helped to supercharge the charger, we should be able to charge Bobby's batteries at record speeds. It's working! Look at those numbers go! 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent! Bobby is fully charged! Well done Mechanicals! What a fantastic job the Mechanicals have done for Bobby! No more diesel fumes! Bobby's off to pick up his passengers now! They'll be surprised to find out how clean and quiet he is. And I'll see you again next time, here at Gecko's Garage. Bye! Where is Bobby? He's very late. Oh, hello everyone. 
You haven't seen Bobby the bus anywhere, have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago, but there's no sign of him. <laughs> it's so cold today, and Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf and mittens. Oh no, there's Bobby. It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift, and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us, Bobby the bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this, and his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. Please can you come and rescue him from a snow drift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains. With her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss, even when she's towing a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you? Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here, out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go, Mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. That heater's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm? when he's back outside. Ah, when we go out into the cold, we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor. He's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting. Trevor has helped to clear the roads. And Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter just like me and the Mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old Blue Mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! Bye! All of my friends are having a great time playing with Max the Monster Truck at his stunt track. Everyone's getting covered in thick brown mud. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Max, Rebecca, Fiona, Danny. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can all get cleaned up in our car wash. How many yucky, mucky trucks and other vehicles are there? Can you help me count them? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up. One at a time now, into the car wash. Biggest vehicle first. Here comes our biggest vehicle, the first to wash today. Ah, it's Larry the Lorry. He's big and tall and grey. Who's the second vehicle? I don't know, do you? Of course, it's Bobby the Bus. Back to a purple hue. And third in line for cleaning, flashing lights upon her head. It's Fiona, the fabulous fire truck, shiny, strong and red. The fourth truck is so dirty, only her eyes can be seen. It's Rebecca, the recycling truck, with her paintwork bright and green. Do you know who the sixth one could be? Covered in gunk and goop. Ah, it's Danny the digger with his enormous yellow scoop. The fifth truck has four giant wheels. He's really very mucky. It's Max, the orange monster truck. It's his fault they're all yucky. The seventh, with a mud-filled loudspeaker balanced on her head. That's right, it's Amber the ambulance. Now she's back to white instead. The eighth one through is smaller. Let's get his colour back. It's Tony the helpful taxi with his paintwork glossy black. The ninth one is another car. At least that's what I think. It's Sophie the speedy sports car. What a lovely shade of pink. This last vehicle is the tenth we've seen. Let's make her good as new. It's Millie the motorbike on two wheels. A brilliant shade of blue. Everyone looks fantastic. Now you're all washed and clean. You can go back to your important jobs. Well, watch out for that muddy puddle. Uh-oh, too late. 